What's going on, guys? And welcome to the latest, the last, the new, the new playthrough on the channel. This is a fantastic Super Nintendo game, one I highly recommend you try out. It is Earthbound. Now, uh, Earthbound is, a, is an interesting kind of game because it basically flopped when it first came out in America in 1995. However, it has been reevaluated over time and has gotten new, a few re-releases here and there. I'm, of course, playing this on the Nintendo Switch Online re-release, but, like, Earthbound is, like, a very, like, unique type of game that, that like, Nintendo has made because, like, there's a lot of pop culture references, there's a lot of bizarre enemies, despite that there's a, it's a real-life setting, and, like, um... I've always, like, I, this is one of those games I try to replay at least once a year, and, like, um, I just have, I just love showing to people. I first played this when it came out on the Wii U Virtual Console a decade ago, and, like, I just fell in love with it, and, like, um, I've just gone and replayed it, and, like, um, there's, like, um, there's, this game is, like, Oh, also has a whole community around it, like the Starman form community, the Starman community, like, um, that, that's some of the, uh, resources I will be using for some of the trivia in this playthrough. Anyway, so let's get this started. Anyway, so that right here was my practice playthrough, because, uh, I had, I really, I pretty much had to do a practice playthrough, um, prior to doing this, but we are gonna do, go to file two, we're gonna set, set the text speed to fast, and, um, we are obviously going to set it to stereo because we don't want mono sound. And we have flavors. There's the plain favor, the mint favor, strawberry favor, the banana favor, the bean favor. You can just change, you can change this anytime you like, but we're just going to start with the mint favor. Anyway, so here's when we get to name of our characters. Now, uh, you can name these characters anything you want. However, this particular character right here, we should know if you, we should know who he is. So, um, he is a very iconic character, and there's also a don't care option, which gives him their default names. We should obviously know him as Ness, but he has other name, default names too. He has Alec, Roger, Will, Brian, Tyler, Lane. So, um, yeah, because Ness is an iconic character, we are obviously going to name him Ness. I don't see him as anything else. And, uh, this is the second character in Earthbound. Her default name is Paula. There's also Nancy, Sky, Paige, Marie, Holly, Jane, Paul, and we're just gonna name- we're just gonna name them their- we're just gonna name these characters their default names. Now listen for a second. Also, this, uh, song was done by Miyamoto on the guitar. Very awesome, but look at this part. This part right here is the first of this game's pop culture reference. This is the Liberty Bell. This samples the Liberty Bell March, which is the uh, best known as the Monty Python theme. <laughs> which I just like that inclusion because I am a really big fan and have seen those all those movies. So like, um, yeah, when it comes to this character, uh, his default name is Jeff. Um, but there's Dan, Henry, Isaac, Ralph, Sean, Rob, and. Uh, like I said, we're just gonna name these characters their default names, and, um... His default name is Pooh, and, uh, there's Kato, Kai, Omar, Ramen, Aziz, Lotto. We're just gonna name Pooh. And we're gonna name our pet. We're gonna name our pet. Now, uh, I will say clearly for the record also that our pet dog is a male, but he has, uh, default names. The default name is King, but he also has Peach, despite being a male. There's Sparky, Rex, Baby, Rover, Misty. I'm gonna name him um, Sparky because I think that's the coolest of the default names. Favorite homemade food. Now, the default option is a steak, pie, pasta, cake, eggs, bread, salmon, and uh, I think I'm gonna actually pick something on my own. Now, uh, we're, approaching we're approaching the holiday season as I'm recording this, and like, uh, we're just gonna go with my favorite homemade food I like to have this time of the year. Yeah, I am a sucker for sweets, um, at this time of the year. Yay, more Monty Python music! <laughs> I promise I will not spend the entirety of this, um, this, uh, intro stream doing fucking Monty Python quotes. <laughs> what is your favorite thing? Now, the default option is rockin', hammer, glove, gifts, gun, slime, and gaming, boxing. But, uh, 
I like when she's under my house. When our favorite thing is, uh... We're gonna choose a game franchise. Why is the week, um... Why are we Mario our default, our favorite thing? Our characters' names are Ness, Paula, Jeff, and Pooh. I decided to go with their defaults. And our dog's name's Sparky. Our favorite food we chose is candy, and our clip thing is uh, Mario, because I thought that'd be a funny name for that. Let's do this! The year is 1990X. Oh, and that, a small town in Eagle Land. Ness's house. And that was a loud crash. It actually wakes us up. So this is our first uh, spot of exploring in this game. We're going to um, now... Uh, I'll basically kind of explain this game's mechanics. We can either talk to, um, talk to, hey bro, did you sound like you up? Where did you freak out? Now, uh, you can also press the L button, and, uh, you can talk to him that way. I think mom let me stay up tonight, late tonight. I see, can't see follow our slate. However, we can steal our sister's treasure, and we, there's a crackback, and this is the first of our weapons. Now, the crack bat will raise our offense from two to six. We are obviously, we obviously start at level one, but like, this is the first weapon we can get in the game. Now, uh, what was that noise? Ness, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? And what, you want to go out and check it out? Oh, okay, you'll sneak out of your room anyway if I ask you not to. At least change out your jam before you go. So yeah, we're in our typical Ness clothes. Uh, I will say one of the reasons this game has gotten reevaluation over the years is because Ness is playable in the Smash Brothers series. That definitely helped that factor too. Because this game sold less than 100,000 copies in the US when it came out in the Super Nintendo in 1995, making this a really rare game. We don't we can't go to that phone yet and if we talk to if we talk to Sparky, besides humans, dogs also don't sleep at sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? Anyway, so, now we're out of our house. And, uh, we can talk to this guy. I want to return home, but the road is closed. People are taking this me station too seriously. The cops are, um... On that place, our inference is closed. Normally, if something is going on. We're going for the world record. Don't panic. It's just a... What? A me right that... Who felt... I just want to... want to go home. I strongly recommend, if you're going to play Earthbound, talk to every NPC possible, because these guys have great dialogue. Did you hear the big bang? I think a mini right landed nearby. I just wanted to be the first to see it, okay? I'm going to try to be the first to get there. Now, if we go to this house... Ooh, hi. Pokey, my brother, ran out here to chase after a police car. He said, Picky, you should stay home. So I'm home watching our house. Mom and Dad aren't home yet. They went out to an elegant restaurant. So, yeah, we, go, we have to kind of go and find our neighbor, Pokey. Now, um... Talk to this guy. Do you know what time it is? Get your butt home, Pronto. Me and your ride is landed. The sharks are running wild in town. You can't wander around, and I'm hungry. I hate my job. Dangerous to go out to the hilltop. Even if I advise you not to go, I won't stop. It won't stop you, will it? Basically, part of Earthbound Charm is like because you can get some really bizarre dialogue in these NPCs. Like, hey, you, you know what time it is? You, I recommend talking to as many NPCs as possible. We will not be talking to everyone, but, like, maybe we'll discover something new along the way. That's our first of our items. That's a bread roll. But, like, um, 
We're going to, uh, if we can talk to every, as many NPCs as possible, we might find some gems in their dialogue. Hey, Ness, hiya, buddy. I mean, here I fell down and went boom. It was a real mess for a while. I was fine, because, but I was eat dark and work out to help make my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also want to tell you, whoops, I almost told you about my, uh, by the way, Ness, did you check my billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's my real job, you know? I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out, why don't you check out my work? Treasure Hunter, this is Li Liar X R Aggregate's house. Aggregate's house. So, uh... Mini Rat looks different than usual. It's strange and marvelous. Oh, as well as mysterious. Ooh. Anyway, so, um... Nice timing, Ness. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? Uh... We technically are at this point, but, like... Are you two live in the house next to Pokey pretty much works like... Shh, shh. Anyway, clear out, get out of my way, clear out, get out of my way, clear out, he's just gonna say the same. What's my mistake? I mean, get out of my way. Now we talk pokey. Hey, Ness, don't be rubbernecking. You getting in the cups? Oops, I mean, the officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about this, uh, strange meteorite. Now, I can't, we can't talk that guy up, those two guys up there, but they're gonna be important later. So I guess to our house. We just uh, walk all. We just walk the whole distance, and um, there's not going to be any enemies at quite yet. There will be enemies in a short period, but like, um, yeah. I will, and then when we get to an enemy, I will obviously have to explain how this game's combat works. It's very unique for an RPG. Anyway, so uh, Ness's mother will be there if we talk to her. Welcome home, Ness. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. So we're off to bed now. Later that night. And we hear a knock. Who could be knocking at the door? And Tracy's up. Someone knock at the door, what an annoying knock. Anyway, so um, talk to our mother. My land, who can be knock at the door this time of night? Will you answer it? Listen to what I got to say. When I told Picky the, the place where the meteorite landed, oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual, Snicker. Anyway, I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite landing left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know, the sharks are the local ruffians. And they're really going wild. I suddenly noticed that Picky was gone. I blame the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. Well, you shouldn't have left Picky over at the fucking house. When my dad gets back, I should. I know I'm gonna get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me, Picky? Find Picky? Yes. Okay, good buddy. Let's pull the pops go stand. Before we go, why would not you say your body mop? Do you agree, ma'am? I got fleas sucking me dry, so I just go into line still for now. That's actually a line dialogue I did not know existed. I know the dog is unreliable. She should take Sparky along. The crack back in Tracy's room could help out a town like this. No matter what anyone says, you're a greatest strong boy. You're my very own natural foreign fighter. You go far. I'm gonna go for it, but I think you should change out your jammies before you leave. And we're in our typical nest clothes again. Now, I want to know what happens if we talk to Tracy if we already have the crack back. Is Tracy even around? Hey, Tracy, where the hell even are you? <laughs> And she's not even, okay. I'll do everything I can to help you. Good luck in your adventure. You might need to get hungry along the way, so here's a cookie. Ness got the cookie. You can also leave everything you don't need with me. Do you want me to hang on to something? Uh, that's Tracy's role in this game. She'll basically hold on to items. We're not gonna let, we're, we'll let her go for now, but, um, yeah, sure, you're cool, whatever. You want me to go with you? Yes. I guess I have no choice. Let's go. And Sparky joins us. And talk to Pokey. All right, you'll give a friend a follow your safe distance. Let's get going. He joins us. Yeah. And the phone's ringing. Do what our mom says. Did you get that? Yes, answer the phone. Hello, it's your dad. Work to do exhausting when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me peer periodically during your adventure. Like, make a record of your progress when you call me. I, I deposit $30 in your bank account. Do you have your APDM card? Withdraw your money from any cash machine, buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I need 
I feel like such a hero. What? Well, in the plot of a hero, I will have slam me. Now, calling your dad is how you save your progress. Normally, I avoid trying to save during recordings, but like, um, I mean, my last playthrough, um, it auto saved, so I, and that went fine. But like, uh, this is gonna be our first batch of enemies. Um, will be um, if we can get in a battle with him. This is Spiteful Crow. Now they can peck in their eyes doing a good amount of damage at this point in the game. And uh, also I should point out that Pokey and Sparky will try to assist you in the battle only at this period in the game. And also Spiteful Crow's kit. Now, remember the uh, cookie that Tracy gave us? There's a chance they could, they could steal that. Wow, we missed twice. But yeah... Earthbound, what makes Earthbound unique from other RPGs, and we get a cookie, the Spiking Crows will always drop a cookie, but like, um, I'm actually, I think I'm gonna use that. But like, um, also, how these magic butterflies work is that they're PP healers. They're not gonna do too much now because we're at level one, but, um, we don't have any PSI moves yet, so, um, I'm gonna try to see if we can get another battle with these. This is another Spiteful Crow. We got a hit on him. And the Spiteful Crow became tame. Now, you want to get some level ups on early on. This is left cookie and then, um, no, because then, nothing to do. Offense went up by one. Max HP went up by one. Max PP went up by two. Ness realized the power of life up alpha. This is our first of our healing moves. That we can use without using one of our items. Now, uh, if I can, uh, it heals up fully. Oh, new enemy. It heals up fully and uses 5 PP. This is the runaway dog. Now, uh, the runaway dogs, um, will bite us. And however, they give us, they give out the most XP for this point in the game. Runaway dog became tame. Now, uh, yeah, the runaway dogs definitely give us the most XP for this part of the game. Hey, it's another runaway dog. Yeah, Pokey does not- Pokey barely attacks. Like, uh, you kind of rely on Spiky. You know, Sparky, wow, we, we missed. Runaway dog became tame. I want to maybe try to see if I can get a second level up. You want to- there's a reason I'll get to later as why you want to fight as many enemies as possible in the early portion of this game. We're going to use another one of our cookies. And this is our another runaway dog. This should get us all level up, though. And yeah, and... Pokey complained to Ness. Wow, typical Pokey. Pokey is actually one of the... I shouldn't, like, spoil this, but he's going to play a much larger role later in the game. Remember, team. we are going to get a level up out of this. Ness grew up level 3. Offense went up by 1. Guts went up by 1. Vitality went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. Max HP went up by 14. Max HP went up by 3. Now, how Guts work is that they're basically... They basically get... De determine how well you can basically... They determine how well you can basically survive when you take mortal damage, and I'll get to that later. And, uh, they also increase the odds you get smash attacks. Hey, Ness, I was too busy to investigate, but I heard a child's voice on the hilltop. I'm a busy man, but I know my job, I do it well. It's a man's job. Now, we should be able to get up the top of the hill, and, uh, there's the meteorite. Ooh, if I, if I knew it was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. And there's Poke, there's Picky. What? Oh, you woke me up, Pokey. I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey's got a scared. Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad that you're okay at least. So let's go home now. I bet Mom and Dad are worried sick about her. See, sometimes I wonder if we're throwing us the real big brother. Now, Picky is going to basically take place of the uh, going to basically take place of uh, of uh, Sparky. Did you hear a buzzing that sounds like a bee flying around? Yes. Yes, you can hear it.
Me, I am. Not. I'm from 10 years in the future. And in the future, all is devastation. Guy gets the universal cosmic destroyer send us all to the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I'm from. There's a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path to, of light. You see, it's my opinion that you are that boy, Ness. This I believe. Guy is this monstrous man must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gygas. The three things are of the utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. The legends from the ancient times tell three boys and a girl who defeat Gygas. I will tell you more later. Go now. Do not be anxious about the future. You have much worse than us. Did you listen to what I told you? Uh, yes. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are exceptional as I expect you to be. And Buzz Buzz is also, Buzz Buzz is also an attacker. Next, so it looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said, uh, I hope I'm not one, I'm not one of those, am I? Because I'm not in this kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart is almost kind of just. Now, there's me Buzz Buzz when he joins us, that he's, 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 he'll take the role that King had, except he's more powerful. I've never been able to get this to work in a playthrough because I don't know if the enemies still show up, but like, Because I think the enemies can't show up, and there's an interesting thing. Um, can, can the enemies show up? I don't know. Either way, there is an interesting bit of trivia I learned while researching for this playthrough. It involves this upcoming thing right here. Now, it's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been fit, you've been foiling Master Guy, you've been sexual foiling Master Guy's plan, but Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You must, you're no longer a hero, just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. Now, there is a very interesting bit of trivia I learned about this fight, not too, very, even just like a week ago when I was researching for this uh, playthrough. Now, we're gonna bash him. PSI, he's gonna use a PSI shield, um, which, which uh, will uh, protect you from psychic attacks, because all he knows are psychic attacks. He, like, he's gonna use um, PSI Fire Beta. Now, you're not supposed to get, you're not supposed to lose this battle. At least that's not what the game designers intend you. However, if you were to get up to level 12, which takes a very long time to do at this point in the game, you can basically, um, you can basically put, learn shield alpha and, uh, get hit by the PSI fire attacks and it's an instant game, you'll get an instant game over. That's the only way you can lose this battle. And I saw it in a YouTube short while, uh, researching for this playthrough and, uh, yeah, I, it's not something I'm really interested in trying out. Because he's not supposed to hit you at all, despite putting up some devastating attacks. And Starman Jr. was defeated. X86 XP, and we didn't get a level up. Phew, I was taking a big chance there. He came 10 years in the future to kill me, so we can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gygas, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals will also, are also becoming violent due to Gygus' influence on the evil in their minds. It is the truth, so listen. Can I possibly get into a fight with these uh, enemies? I don't think I can. I guess we have to return the uh, two boys home. Where Sam Hill have you boys been? I like to think of a suitable punishment. I'm really sorry that my kids trouble you so much. Both of you are really gonna get it now. Now I'd like to point out in the Japanese version that plays a smack sound. By the way, I would love to I would be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been a hundred thousand dollars or more. Much like how Dark Side Phil has spent on WWE champions. Well, I guess it really could have been less. But because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty. But you have a house. It's a nice looking house. My husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guys finish last. That's the story of our life. 
I think it's a dung beetle. I'll smash your guts out. That's this fight that Buzz Buzz could take out a Starman Jr. This is what kills Buzz Buzz. Uh, uh, I was much weaker than I thought. So you must now begin your adventure. See you. Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. Defeat Gaius, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near on it. It's called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? Yes. All right. You are very intelligent, young man. Oh, the pain. Everything's getting darker. Guess before I pass on, I want to give you something. It's a soundstone. You can record the melodies from the eight your sanctuary locations into the stone. It is an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone, but do you want to hear what's wrong one time? No. Good. It's already dawn outside, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. So. Huh. Let's get the soundstone. That's basically our goal in this game. You get the eight sacred melodies so we can basically save the world. Now it's going to dawn outside. Appropriate time to cut it off in this part of Earthbound. So next time on Earthbound, we are going to um going to start our adventure. So I'll see you guys next time.